for me is that um, I have got to see people like your good self, who I've known for a really, really long time. There's a bunch of other guys in there. I won't name them all, but th- th- they know who they are. Uh, I haven't seen those people in so long. And, it's, and just, again, coming together as a community to, to, um, uh, to, to say hi and just to hug and just say, oh, I haven't seen you in so long. Yeah. You know, that has, For me personally, this, is, this has been so, so lovely. I, I, I was a uh, a couple of my housemates got into it. I was in a role playing group, and uh, I think a couple of them came home with with this crazy card game. I, I didn't really get it to begin with. Uh, yeah. I was massively into into live action role play at the time, oh, and sweet. I had that in my head. And I thought, God, so do you have to dress up to play this card game? Uh, I mean, some do. Some do. Um, <laughs> then my work moved into owning a store for a while, and that, okay. that was great. Um, and then, uh, and more recently, I'm now working with Axion, and we're, we're doing. We've got so many cool projects and so many, so many great things in the pipeline. I mean, to some extent, magic is my life, uh, and and you know that's not a bad thing. It's Excellent. a very good thing. <laughs> that's great to see. Also, I love the fact that we have people of all different backgrounds. You know, um, physically, and all. You know, I love the fact that we're equal. And at the end of the day. When you get to the table, everybody is equal, and and facilitating an event where everybody can be equal when they yeah. sit down at that event. Um, Some kid on my block uh, taught me to play with like two mono blue decks from like Portal, so like a bunch of bumping sage owls into each other, and somehow <laughs> somehow that captured my imagination. <laughs> but yeah, I've been playing since like Portal. I'm playing like um, I have a nostalgia for that the muskets that the white cards had back then and the yeah. castles and stuff. And then I got started events going to like bookstores because we didn't have any game stores in the south, right? Back when Eventide was a thing. And then from there, just wow. starting up pre releases and then going to like Axiom events and GP, well, back in the day, PTQs, then PPTQs and GPTs. Yeah. I just think there was any like alternative play. So it was seeing the commentary and it was like, um, I think Mike, Mike Flores was, he was playing a much more conservative line. But you couldn't play a conservative line with that deck. Once the white black deck had control, you were dead. So it was all. Yeah. So I couldn't. I looked at it. So I've seen scenes like it was. It was um, Brandy Bueller and Mike, Mike Flores were, were, were the lines. I was like, no, he's got to go to the place. And like, no, he's yeah. going to do the creature. But from my point of view, knowing what the deck is, the matter. longer it's, this game's on, well, yeah, I'm dead. The more you're going. Yeah, to, it's yeah. like you, you've got to take the moment and go right there, or it's all over. But I never even considered the other side. So some people say, oh yeah, it was like he was playing to his axe. It's a perfect example. He's like. I didn't screw up. <laughs> I had my moment and I didn't screw it up. Yeah, Randy had your back the whole time on commentary. Yeah, he knew, what, he knew yeah, what was going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I was not affiliated to Wizards of the Coast, my card said, this is the coast, and it hard. As he says, Wizards of the Coast, or the company organising the event, or the staff locally on site, the, the artist is like an island that's a maverick human being. It's not affiliated to anyone mm. at all. So I'd often have people chatting to me about all kinds of stuff, about ev- everyone else. And it was quite a lovely position to be in because yeah. you can be a link between other people because you're not affiliated to the company. I mean, it's, it's the player, but it's the people, mostly. Yeah. It, it's kind of, it's seeing so many people that share a love for the game all yeah. come together, all in one place. Um, and yeah, getting like getting to meet and make friends with so many different people from all around the world. Yeah, I mean, I've been. I'm, I'm a gamer through and through. I played uh, all kinds of games, board games, card games, PC games, you know, console, whatever. Everything seems to, you know, I enjoy games for a while and then at some point they drop off. Yeah, magic just doesn't do that. Magic is always interesting. It's constantly changing every game you play is different yeah. um and every interaction with people you have is different you know my closest friends i met through magic yeah. um a lot of them